The original round nose fish, I love. It's cool to have a board that works that good and be able to change up the settings on the fins and have a whole different feel, but still work well and all sorts of stuff. First, I rode a Newport as a quad and it felt, had so much drive. And then I rode it as a thruster and it really turned a lot sharper. Uh, I was able to pivot quicker. And then I've ridden it since as, as a twin fin with a trailer and, and like punchy waves, it just flies and you can kind of have a lot of drive from that twin fin, but then the looseness of the little trailer. And I think that might be my actual favorite now. Basically just stemmed off of, it was the 20 year anniversary of the Round Nose Fish that Matt did the 5.5, five, 19 and a quarter movie on. And so he just refined it a little bit more to modern scenario, um, but it's completely based off that fish he made in 97 that they made a movie on. That was Matt's platform to becoming you know, one of the best shapers in the world. And that movie brought a lot of visibility and just it was so different for the time. I and mean, I remember when it came out, I was like, what the hell are those things? I was thinking I was riding like, I was a grommet riding like a 6.2 or 3. And those boards were 5.5, five, and that was like a drastic change for the times of what everyone else was riding. And it looked, I think ultimately those guys looked like they are having a blast on them. So I kind of, everyone's like, damn, I need to get one of those in my quiver. I think that's what Matt does so well, is he builds boards that can translate for intermediate beginner surfers like the round nose fish, that redux. It has really flat rocker and a fuller outline. So it's stable if you're, if you're a beginner surfer, but then with the tail and the little wing and it brought into a swallow, you could still, once you get speed, you can it turns on a dime and yeah, round nose fish caters to all really.